Ultimate Fact presents Top 15 Future Weapons That'll Blow Your Mind Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. We've come a long way since sticks and stones, and it's almost inconceivable that only a few hundred years ago, man was still waging war with bows, arrows, cannons, and muskets. Modern militaries are constantly in the process of developing new weapons, some of which will definitely make some mouths drop. We thought it would be fun to take a closer look at the most amazing offensive and defensive weapons currently in the works. Space-Based Weapons Space is the ultimate high ground, so weapons in orbit would have the ability to see and zap anything on the ground, in the air, or nearby in space. The main mission of space-based weapons would be to defend against ballistic missiles fired at targets on Earth. Fleets of interceptors or battle stations would be stationed in orbit, poised to fire at any attacking missiles. The leading approach now was solid projectiles, such as tungsten rods that would impact missiles. But laser battle stations are also under consideration. The technology is immature. Reaction times must be very fast. Interceptors must hit warheads to destroy them, which is difficult. Lasers also need chemical fuel or electrical power, which is not readily available in space. Hypersonic Aircraft Launched from a standard runway, a hypersonic aircraft could fly faster than Mach 5 to strike anywhere in the world within two hours. It would also have enough thrust to deliver a satellite to low Earth orbit. To get off the ground from a runway, a hypersonic plane would either hitch a ride on a conventional plane or have its own conventional jet engine. That engine would carry the hypersonic craft to an altitude where air density and resistance are less. Here, it would reach supersonic speeds and then shift to its scramjet engine. The scramjet scoops up air and mixes it with fuel so it burns as the mixture flows through the engine at supersonic speeds. This means scramjets can achieve some of the speed of a rocket without having to carry heavy oxidizers to mix with fuel as rockets do. The technology is immature, with many engineering issues unresolved. Scramjet engines cannot start until the plane flies faster than the speed of sound. Plus, hypersonic flight has so far only been demonstrated for small, unpiloted craft carried to high speed by other vehicles, and other planned experimental craft are too small to carry a pilot. Autonomous Weapons these are robotic vehicles under development that search and destroy enemy troops and equipment on the ground or in the air, without risk to friendly troops, theoretically. Onboard computers interpret sensor data to identify and target hostile forces with built-in weapons. Robots may query human controllers at remote sites for the go-ahead to fire, and friendly forces may carry transponders that identify them as friends. Difficulty of quickly and reliably discriminating between hostile forces and neutral or friendly parties for objects such as civilians, cows, trees, and tractors. Systems that check with human controllers are vulnerable to communication failures. Malfunctioning robots could fire wildly at anything. High Energy Lasers these are powerful energy beams that travel through air or space in straight lines. They travel at the speed of light and can strike over distances of thousands of kilometers. Large mirrors focus powerful laser beams on a small spot on the target. The heat produces burns through the surface of the target, disrupting flight, disabling warheads, or igniting fuels or explosives. It needs much more energy to do damage than bullets, which destroy targets with their momentum. Powerful lasers need fuel or electrical power and are also very bulky. Traveling through air and turbulence can disperse the energy of the beam. Active Denial System Millimeter wave or microwave beams supposedly make people flee without injuring them. They might typically be powered by a generator fitted to a Humvee in crowd control situations. A 2-meter antenna and a mobile generator produce and aim a beam of 95 gigahertz radiation. The top 0.3 millimeter of skin absorbs millimeter waves, causing intense pain within 5 seconds, so people flee quickly if they can. Serious injury is possible if people cannot escape from the beam. Skin burns within minutes. The beam also superheats metal objects like coins, earrings, or spectacle frames, which can then burn their skin. Nuclear Missiles Nuclear missiles are able to deliver unmatched destructive power anywhere in the world, making them the ultimate level of military power. One or more nuclear warheads are mounted on a ballistic missile, 
and launched vertically. The rocket burns out in the upper atmosphere, then coasts to its programmed destination where the bomb descends and explodes. These weapons are so frighteningly destructive that they have never been used in war. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, which had much less destructive power, were dropped from aircraft. Plus, the launch site and trajectory are easy to identify, inviting retaliation in kind from the target nation. Stun Guns or Tasers Tasers disable people with bursts of high-voltage electricity, allowing police to subdue them without lasting injury. A special gun fires darts on wires. These deliver a pulse of electricity that temporarily disrupt control of voluntary muscles. Police target body or legs to avoid vulnerable areas such as the head or neck. Without muscle control, people fall to the ground. Tasered people may be injured when they fall to the ground. Darts can injure the throat, eyes, or genitals. Pulses can cause muscle spasms or seizures, and deaths have been reported. One pulse does not stop all people and there have been allegations of misuse of stun guns and claims of their use in torture. E-bombs High-powered microwave pulses can knock out computers, electronics, and electrical power, crippling military and civilian systems. A rapid increase in electromagnetic field strength during a pulse induces surges of electric current in conductors. This burns out electrical equipment. Semiconductor chips are particularly vulnerable. Special bombs generate the most intense pulses covering large areas, but unmanned aircraft carrying small generators can pinpoint targets. The effects can depend on local conditions and are hard to predict. Sensitive enemy military equipment can be shielded, and microwaves also disable friendly electronics within range. Layered Missile Defense Layered missile defense offers the best chance to shoot down attacking ballistic missiles. Multiple anti-missile systems are deployed to target ballistic missiles during different stages of the attacking missile's flight. 1. The boost phase. While the rocket's firing engines make it easy to spot. 2. Mid-course while the warhead coasts in space. and 3. The terminal phase as it approaches the target. Each phase or layer of defense increases the chance of successful destruction of the missile. Depends on efficiency of each layer. The system is very expensive to build, test, deploy, and maintain. The initial boost phase is easiest to target, but requires extremely fast reaction times. Information Warfare This technique interferes with the flow of information vital to enemy operations while defending friendly channels of communication. Information warfare specifically targets communication networks and computers. Expert computer hackers called crackers might break into or overload military computers and networks or spread computer viruses. Jammers might also block radio and television transmissions. Misinformation is circulated deliberately. The U.S. relies more on computers and communications than most of their potential adversaries, making the technique a potential threat to them and of limited use against low-tech opponents. Both sides are also vulnerable to misinformation. Hyper-stealth or quantum stealth Using naturally occurring metamaterials, scientists have been designing light wave bending materials that can greatly reduce the thermal and visible signatures of a target. The science behind it is relatively straightforward, though skeptics remain unconvinced and say they will believe it when they don't see it. The adaptive camouflage renders what lies behind the object wearing the material by bending the light around it. The military implications of such developments are self-evident, as invisibility cloaks would make it possible for fighters, from ordinary soldiers to special forces, to operate in enemy territory undetected, or at least buy them enough time to take the initiative. Such capabilities would reduce the risk of casualties during military operations, while increasing the ability to launch surgical and surprise attacks against an opponent, or conduct sabotage and assassination. Electromagnetic Railguns EM railgun launchers use a magnetic field rather than chemical propellants. To thrust a projectile at long range and at velocities of 4,500 miles per hour, technology under development has demonstrated the ability to propel a projectile at a distance of 100 nautical miles using 32 megajoules. The extended velocity and range of EM railguns provides several benefits both in offensive and defensive terms from precision strikes that can counter even the most advanced area defense systems to air defense against incoming targets. Another advantage of this technology is that it eliminates the need to store the hazardous high explosive and flammable materials necessary to launch conventional projectiles. 
space weapons. Despite international pressure against the weaponization of space, major countries continue to explore technologies that would turn the sky above us into the next battleground. The possibilities are limitless as they are outlandish, from moon-based missile launchers to systems that would capture and redirect asteroids towards a target on the surface of the Earth. Evidently, not all scenarios are technically feasible and will forever remain the stuff of science fiction novels, but some breakthroughs are within the grasp of current science and would have a deep impact on the nature of warfare as we know it. One possibility is the arming of space orbiters with nuclear or non-nuclear electromagnetic pulse EMP weapons. By detonating a satellite-launched EMP weapon at high altitude, a belligerent could initiate a decapitation attack against an enemy's electrical grids, satellites, as well as the command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance architecture that are necessary to conduct military operations. Depending on the size of the EMP weapon utilized, the attack could blanket an entire country or could be more surgical, targeting an area of operations. An assassin's mace weapon of this type could theoretically end war before a single shot is fired. Hypersonic Cruise Missiles and Prompt Global Strike Had hypersonic cruise missiles existed in the mid-1990s, the U.S. might have ridded itself of al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden much earlier than it did and would have accomplished the feat in Afghanistan rather than in Pakistan. With the ability to accurately deliver warheads over long distances, cruise missiles have had an extraordinary impact on modern warfare. But in an age where minutes can make a difference between defeat and victory, they tend to be too slow. It took 80 minutes for land attack cruise missiles launched from U.S. ships in the Arabian Sea to reach Al-Qaeda training camps in Afghanistan in 1998, following the terrorist attacks against U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania. Using hypersonic missiles cruising at speeds of Mach 5 plus, the same targets would have reached within as little as 12 minutes, short enough to act on intelligence which had placed the terrorist mastermind at the location. Sentinent Unmanned Vehicles Perhaps the single most important development in the defense industry in the past decade is the emergence of unmanned vehicles. As the technology evolves, drones, as they are often called, are quickly taking over duties that have traditionally been the remit of human beings. Such has been their rise that some commentators have argued that unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs could one day render human pilots obsolete. But today's drones, from bomb removal buggies to undersea mini-subs, from ship-based surveillance helicopters to high-altitude assassination platforms, remain dumb and for the most part require a modicum of human intervention. Not only are platforms piloted remotely by human beings, though with increasing automation, but key mission elements such as target acquisition and the decision to fire a Hellfire missile at a target continue to necessitate human supervision. Among which one of these seems most terrible to you? Let us know in the comment section. That is all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.